everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I am filming a book recommendations video. I've read lots of books this month so far and loads in the past and I want to recommend some to you which you may not have seen before and I'm really excited, really excited. Kicking things off with um, a book series that I have just completed the sequel in the series and they are actually on sale for the next like seven days or something crazy for like a week these books are on sale for so I wanted to give it a shout out and that is Curse of the Sphinx by Ray Wagner and the sequel Demigods and Monsters by Ray Wagner. This follows a girl called Hope who is a Greek monster. She's a sphinx. This is set in modern day and it's all about Hope's journey of trying to break the curse that the god of Apollo set on her and her family and yeah book one and two are both 99p to download or 99p 99 cent to download on Amazon so that's why I want to talk about it because guys I'm trying to hook you up with a good sale. If you like books that are set in modern day with a bit of a mythological twist like Percy Jackson then this is great for you. What I really like about this is it's actually set in a world where everybody knows about gods and monsters but there are demigods, gods and there are monsters and we obviously have hope falling in love with a demigod whilst trying to break a god's curse whilst all the other demigods are trying to kill her. I mean really, really great series, really enjoyed the sequel so I do highly recommend these two books for you guys. A book that I'm actually currently reading and I have to recommend to you is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. Now this book is super duper captivating. It's set in this kind of like Russian empire about this thing called the crowns game where two enchanters if there ever are two enchanters have to go e against each other to win the affection or win win the prize of being the enchanter for Russia and the other one dies and I've just like I am literally 89 pages in and so unbelievably captivated by this book that I had to mention it in this video as I think I am gonna enjoy it I don't know what star rating would give it but so far I really enjoy it and I do want to kind of say to you guys have you read this book if you have let me know because I am kind of obsessed and want to talk to you about it so yeah check it out. Another book I recommend it is Inherited by Frieda Matthews. This is a book about a, a crew of pirates who are all cursed not to be able to love and it follows Lenny and the rest of the crew in search for the three remaining heirs of this curse so they can get together and go on the ship and go and break the curse. But we have this sea witch who is trying to like prevent them from doing this. We have the figurehead fairy who's just living and not living because she's like a wooden statue but how is she a wooden statue? You have to watch to find out. But it's just a really great book about cursed love. It's kind of like a mix between Pat Pirates of the Caribbean meets like a kind of Jane Austen era. So definitely check that out if you like the sound of it. You can find it on Amazon. Another book I want to talk about is one I haven't mentioned for such a long time but it is one of my all-time favourite books and series and that's Born at Midnight, the first book in the Shadow Falls series by C.C. Hunter. This is about a girl who goes to a summer camp for supernaturals and she doesn't realise she's a supernatural until she gets there. She meets witches, werewolves, shapeshifters, fairies, mer, all these different things but for like the series you don't know what she is and it's all about her finding out what her powers are and what, what magical being she is. It was definitely not disappointing and I do highly recommend this book. It was just such a great read and I'm actually really really looking forward to reading all the other CC Hunter books around this series. So yes I definitely re recommend Born at Midnight if you like supernatural books like set in a summer. It's like Percy Jackson's Camp Half-Blood but for supernaturals. I mean hello! And last but not least I am recommending Air Awakens by Elise Kova. This is just this amazing Elemental Control novel. Oh my god. This book has taken the world by storm. It's just one of the most beautiful lyrical reads I have read in such a long time. Um, it is all about elemental control, about a girl who can control air. She's one of the last people that can control air. If you like Ang Lee Avatar meets kind of like a Japanese-y feel, then you will love this series. Um, so yeah, I definitely highly recommend it. And it's the whole series is out now. Like every single book in the series is out. So like you can just read the whole series and I, that's what I'm doing this summer. I'm just reading the whole series. I can't wait. I can't wait. So there you have it. There is my book recommendations video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you check out the sale and if you want to see any of the books down below on Goodreads, I will leave the links. Do comment down below and let me know if you've read any of these books. I really want to chat to you especially if you've read Crown's Game and if you enjoyed it and what you thought of it for the rest of the book. I'd be really interested to know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your reading and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye!